So check this out, yo. Um, Justin, he's in. You ever seen the movie Forty Eight Hours? Right now, he's having Forty Eight Hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, they're having the times of their lives, like, 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 the, you know, where we hanging out and what we doing. Um, we we can't really disclose, but um, it's definitely a fifteen year old's dream. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are good, guys. Today is a great day. <laughs> But um, we've been seeing the whole Diddy's case and, you know, everything. So I just want to take us back to, um, you know, when Justin Bieber spent 48 hours with Diddy. Because I just feel like mm, we could see some things. But let's get right into it. Yeah, so... As soon as you turn 16, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let you rock this every time you come to LA. Yeah, this will be yours. So, every okay. time you come to LA, it's a little dusty, but you know, I'm gonna put the front shot in this. Man. Let that out. Minute. Woo. Okay. Okay. Alright, so, so I'm gonna be driving this yeah, next yeah. year. Yeah, when you get 16, you come down there, you gotta, you know, wear your seat. I mean, I'm 15, thing. you can ride in the passenger seat. I got my permit now that. Not yet? No. Alright, 16. Not 16. Slow All down. Right. Let's slow down, Josh. Okay. Let's mm -hmm. slow down, okay? One, one step at a time. But, yeah, yeah, the keys is yours when you, you know, when you get 16. You're All good right. to go. I'm good to go. Yeah. Alright. And then, when you get 18, you get the house. You okay. get the mansion. Okay. I yeah. get the mansion? Yeah. Alright. So, where, where, where are we off to now? Where would you like to go? Um, I mean, wherever you want to go. Where are we, going? <laughs> we just so check this out, yo. Um, Justin, he's in. You ever seen the movie Forty Eight Hours? Right now, he's having Forty Eight Hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, they're having the times of their lives, like, 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 the, you know, where we hanging out and what we doing. Um, we we can't really disclose, but um, it's definitely a fifteen year old's dream. Um, you know, I I, I have been given custody of him. You know, he yeah. signed the Usher. I'm signed to Usher. Uh, I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when when, you know, he, he did his first album. I did yes. Usher's first album. I don't really I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next forty eight hours, he's with me. So um and yeah and we, and we gonna go full, buck full crazy. We're going crazy. Crazy. I'm taking this out tonight. What you wanna do? What you wanna do over the next forty eight hours? Forty-eight hours. Let's go. Um, are we gonna? Let's just go get some girls. Let's go hang with some girls. A man after my heart. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Full clip of the forty-eight hours, but Diddy said whatever they were gonna be doing, he can't disclose. Mm, mm, mm. Now that is something we can hold on to. But don't come for me. I'm just saying what he said. But guys, um. If you have new stories about, you know, this whole did this case, please put it out, put it out. Because if you scroll through TikTok, you're going to see a lot of people saying a lot of things. And like people keep saying, I, I keep seeing people's posts on TikTok where they're like, um, Justin has been protecting um, um, Selena Gomez and Billie Eilish from, you know, going to a Diddy's party because he knows what's about and he he also said it in his song Yummy and like like different things like I have been seeing things like see just pick up your phone go to TikTok and just you could use the hashtag or you could just scroll down like if of course you follow trending news you are just gonna see so many things that. You just can't wrap your head about. But, guys, we are going to get to the bottom of this Diddy's case on this channel because I don't know. I'm just excited to unravel everything. I mean, like, when I see things like this, I just keep thinking about people who have been traumatized about it because I, I can say that I, I may know how they feel. Not like I'm saying I have been traumatized like that or anything, no. But, you just would have an idea of how this person feels how how like people who have been traumatized how they had to live with it for years like they were people who were much younger when these things happened to them and i just feel so bad because for years you couldn't say shit because you just didn't know what was going to happen to you and then you just had to live with it because 
obviously you can't go against the league but like if you're out there you hear this you you are a part of this you you've been traumatized by you know all of what has been happening in that entertainment industry please speak up please say your mind like did is probably going to spend the rest of his life behind bars with the way things keep coming out every day but this is not about the whole um, what happens in the end this is about you getting the justice like you having to feel relieved after so many years so please do speak up voice out it's very important to voice out don't let it eat you up on the inside you have time to voice out so do that and um for those of you watching, you have comments, put it down in the comment section. Let's talk about these things. Let's just chit chat about it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I love you guys.